Hello YouTube, Brett Peter here with you. Coming to you from Terminal 21. This is about a 10 minute walk from Nana. I'm staying in Nana. Come down here, this is another cool place. Kind of a hustling, bustling type atmosphere. A uh, whole lot busier than where I'm at, but just uh, you can tell it's a huge, huge, huge mall. And like I say, this, this, this same rail, this is ASOK, I think. ASOK, ASOK, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But like I say, it's just a, a 10 minute walk away from uh, Nana. Uh, figured I'd go in here and show you what's up. Okay, here we go, folks. Terminal 21 Mall. This place is huge. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six stories. Not, not counting the basement. Get through this little fine men escalator. Got every everything you need here, folks. Anything you can imagine. Yep, this is my this is my last night here in uh, Bangkok uh, for this round. I'll be headed to Phuket tomorrow. I'm gonna stay seven days, I guess, and we'll go from there. I, I went ahead and rented a place in in Pattaya uh, for seven days, but I've got the option to cancel, so I'm just uh, gonna go that route. And if I wind up wanting to stay longer in Phuket, I, I can. I'll just cancel it on a go to. So uh, if you're here or anywhere and you you get on a go to something and you see them rooms running out, uh, go ahead and go ahead and book them. But make sure they're make sure you can cancel them. Uh, this one's a pretty cheap room, and I only had two rooms left, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger. And like I say, may stay there, may not. But. Uh, pretty cheap accommodation is $115 for a week and so and it was rated like 8.6 so I wanted to lock that down and so that's what I did I don't know what I'm just wandering around this mall like I know what I'm doing and I have no clue uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm loving Bangkok so far uh, spending a lot more money here than I did in the Philippines but but that's okay. Any, anytime you go to a new, a new place, you you wind up shelling a little, a little extra to get you get you started. So that's what I've done, and I've had I've had massages every day. I went to that Soul Spa, uh, the one I made a video on it last time I was here, and just I'm, you talk about awesome. It was about an hour and a half, cost uh, seven hundred baht, which is right around twenty, twenty two dollars, something like that. And I'm, I'm telling you, they, they cut your toenails, your fingernails, they clean your ears, they, they cut your eyebrows, they just do it all. And it's totally professional, totally professional, none, none of that uh, other stuff that Bangkok's probably known for. But it's my favorite. It's called Soul Spa. I think it's on Sukhumvent 15, uh, but just excellent, excellent. I called and made me an appointment, and... They got me in at three o'clock, so uh, just an awesome, awesome, relaxing experience. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, folks, I made it out of there. Hell, I got lost. I couldn't remember how many floors I went up. And tried to go back down, and hell, there's at least two under, two floors under the one I came in on. So <laughs> mark that down when you when you go into this big malls. Uh, write down the or make a note to yourself which floor you come in on because uh, even though it said departures some of them was plain departures some of them was uh, I don't know they was kind of marked in countries like Rome and or I mean cities and I didn't pay attention so I took me I went down went down too far and then had to come back up so I think I'm on the right track now I'm headed back down to, to Nana Okay, folks, yeah, I'm on the right track now. I passed that earlier, so. Lots of hustle and bustle down here at ASOC. 
see that. That's the terminal here, terminal 21. Let's see. But yeah, I think I like it. I think I like it better than my area. It's not near as modern as this, uh, but it's cheaper. And there's, like I say, there's as much action as you want. If you're not into action, you stay at the room. I pretty much stayed inside all day. Uh, went out, got me a little bite to eat earlier, and, and went back to the room. Got my laundry taken care of, so I'm ready for the for the flight tomorrow. Well, a lot of y'all was asking me about the, or telling me in the comments to to call the airport about my tablet being left on that airplane. And I did. I tried calling them. Uh, didn't have no luck. I never talked to a human. Uh, so, but like I say, I'm going back tomorrow, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get there a little early, and see if I can't talk to to somebody about the lost and found. And, and you're right. It sure enough could be. Uh, sitting there waiting on me in the lost and found, but uh, like I say, I called them today, didn't have no luck that way, but uh, I'm kind of optimistic. Before I was like, now nah, it's gone, I'm not even gonna worry about it. And thanks to thanks to you people in the comments, I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, worst they can say is, no, we don't have it, so uh, but I would feel a lot better if, if I had it in my possession and uh, nobody's running around out there with all my all my apps and the uh, and the ability to just click on them and, and get into everything. So, yep, that's the plan so far. Phuket, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to CoPP. Uh, like I say, I, I've been there once. I've been to CoPP, but just for, for two days, I think, one night. And I really think it's worth checking out a little, a little longer than that. So. Uh, had I known that Krabby was just on the other side of, of PP, I would have probably booked at least 10 days. So I know I just keep showing you all this, uh, walking down the, down the terminal. But when you've been in the Philippines for six months, you appreciate these sidewalks, folks. This is amazing. And they've got sidewalks on both sides of the street, plenty of walking room. Uh, it's not like the Philippines. Uh, like I say, I love the Philippines, but uh, they like the infrastructure. Thailand, Thailand's got it going on, folks. It's kind of like a, a dirty Tokyo, if you will, Japan. Uh, but still, it, it, it's a happening place. Got, got good transportation. And if you stay in the right spot, you don't even need transportation. You can walk to everything you, everything you got or everything you need. That's what I love about the place I'm at is everything everything you need is right there within a block or two so I, that's from food i haven't even eat, ate at a real restaurant since i've been here i've been eating nothing but street food i wouldn't i wouldn't trust to see uh street food to save my ass and in, in, in the philippines but have no no trouble eating it here whatsoever uh and and when i first got to the philippines i don't know if, if anybody else had this trouble it's kind of a a gruesome topic but when i got to philippines hell i had to i had the shits for about two months i kept taking uh pepsi pepsi ac and i die real uh trying to trying to kick it somebody finally told me quit taking that just let it run its course i finally done that i ain't kidding though i could shit through a screen door nearly every day and it, it was uh it was brutal it it, it keeps you keeps you close to a house if you know what i mean and uh, i wouldn't wish that on nobody but i've heard other countries having that kind of trouble like bali belly i don't know if it's some kind of food enzyme or what but uh both times that i've went to the philippines i've struggled with it you know i was there so long i finally got over it and was able to go on about my business uh, but it did it took probably two months well because i broke my trip up too i I struggled with it, uh, and then I went to Vietnam and had no problems whatsoever, and went back to uh, Philippines and started struggling again. I'm gonna get down off this, off this, so y'all can see some street people. Like I say, terminal, terminal 21. It's more of a uppity, probably more expensive and and uh, beautiful big hotels and and nice shopping and that kind of stuff. Down here in Nana, you can get your, 
get you a plastic dong, buy your vape, whatever you're into. I probably need to take this. Hell no, I'll walk on down here and just come back. That's that's the way to my uh, hotel over there. You can see the Nana sign up here. But I can always walk back, show you a little bit more of these more of these people. There's more restaurants and markets, but like I say, been eating nothing but street food. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that in the Philippines. Don't trust the the Philippine street food at all. But like I say, I do not worry about it here in, in Thailand. Delicious, delicious food. Uh, right there's my street right here. I never buy the flex ticket when it comes to airlines, and that's burnt me a couple of times. And like this, if I would have, if I would have paid for the flex, I wouldn't be worried about it right now. I could, I could just uh, change my dates, and it would all work out. Uh, depending on when I wanted to come back from from Phuket, Whew. it's hot up here. But they want <laughs> a lot of times they want nearly twice as much for the tickets when you do do the flex. So I don't know if it'll pay for itself or not. If, if a guy needed to use it. I don't think there's that much difference in doing the flex and just rebooking a new ticket and losing your other one. I don't think there's a whole hell of a lot of difference. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, just put it in the comments. Uh, like I say, I'm a, I'm a tight ass, so I usually just do the bare minimum and then upgrade my seat to where I have a little leg room Unless it's just an hour flight. If it's an hour flight, I'll just tough it out. They can put me wherever and I'll be good to go. And that's what it is to iron 15 minutes, I think, from Bangkok to Phuket. So, looking forward to that. Looking forward to uh, heading back to Koh Phi Phi and maybe doing a little bit more exploring. But I've never been to Pattaya. This is, that'll be when I get back. That'll be my first city that'll be new to me. And if I can hit Krabby while I'm uh, while I'm down south, I'd like to do that too. And like I say, I've still got Chiang Mai and Hoi Hin uh, on my radar. So uh, and then Cambodia. I would I would like to hit Cambodia. Uh, so I don't know how long I'll be here. A guy, I'm loving it right now. But you know how you know how the honeymoon phase of the new wears off when it when it hits you're ready and and this could get old real quick you know all these people for a guy like me and so but i'm headed down south to be a little and it's low season so maybe to be a little more tranquilo down there and so hopefully hopefully i'll i'll like like my situation and i don't know so sometimes i book shit just because i'm I'm feeling a certain kind of way on a certain day and then later regret it. But I'm, I'm absolutely digging this. Uh, and if you're in the Philippines, there's no reason to sit there and and get stuck in the same old deal. It, it's probably a $100 flight to come over here to uh, the Philippines. This time I, I only booked a one way. And I didn't worry about... Uh, trying to find a an ongoing ticket i did get on i did get, go ahead and uh pay for one of those fake tickets it cost me 16 dollars. and i talked to a guy he said hell he never he never picks a an ongoing ticket from thailand because he can take the bus or, or whatever so i started to tell the, tell him that same story but i didn't i didn't want it to get crunch time and then me had to be struggling so i just Shelled out $16 and bought the little fake ticket. And all it is is pretty much saying you got to ticket out. Anyway, yeah, all it is is, is uh, you're renting a ticket. It says you've got a way, uh, you've got to fly it out of the country for just enough to get you on the airplane and get you through security. I think it expires within 
24 or 48 hours. So you're just pretty much renting a ticket. And I went ahead and went that route. And just a little peace of mind, but nobody asked me for nothing. So so uh, he was right, Simon, you was correct. They, they didn't ask me for nothing. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying it's that way every time, but but in my case, I didn't I didn't have to worry about uh, nobody. Nobody even bothered me or checked, you know. I worry about too much shit. I was worried about the, the weight of my bag and all that other, you know, listening to them announcements before you get on the flight. And so I panicked, probably threw more shit away than I needed to and bought a, a fake fake exit ticket. Uh, but it beats that 60 or $70 I got stuck with when I was trying to, uh, when, trying to leave Phil, uh, Vietnam and they wouldn't let me on the plane until I had an exit ticket from the Philippines. And I told them, hell, I live in the Philippines. What do you mean? But Philippines, you can't drive out of. You've got to fly out of. So uh, they wasn't trying to hear that. And I just hurried up and got on uh, Skyscanner and booked me the cheapest one. I think it was to Malaysia or something. Just ate that ticket. Uh, thought, hell, I might go and I might not. And I never did go. So, But anyway, folks, yep, I'm going to get over here. I'm going to go back to my room, jump under this AC right quick, take a shower get all this sweat off of me it's, it's warm here it, it, it's hot here in, in thailand i don't know probably 90 degrees uh and that's just a guess i don't want to hear it, it ain't no 90 yeah it feels like 90 and it's it's a, a humid humid 90 so uh, i'm gonna take a shower uh yep cool off and then come find me something to eat uh got over 2700 subs now uh, if y'all hadn't had a if y'all hadn't go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, share these videos, uh, and I'll keep making them. That's all I got for now. This is Brent's Chicken. Peace.